The West Antarctic ice sheet is melting rapidly, raising concerns it could cross a tipping point of irreversible retreat in the next few decades if global temperatures rise from 1.5 to 2 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels. So 6000 years ago, the grounded edge of the ice sheet may have been as far as 250 kilometers or 160 miles inland in its current location, suggesting that the ice retreated deep in the continent after the end of the last ice age and re-advanced before modern retreat began. With the hard work of our brilliant scientists, we now know that the West Antarctic ice sheet has experienced significant changes over time. Picture this. Massive icebergs floating in the pristine Antarctic waters as the ice sheet slowly shrinks back. It would truly be a sight to behold. Moving forward, an international team of 80 researchers have reported in June that the rate of thaw in Antarctica has tripled over the past decade. This study published in the journal Nature showed that Antarctica has lost a total of 2.71 trillion metric tons of ice between 1992 and 2017, and half of these losses came in the past 5 years. But how do you even wrap your mind around a number that large? For this, let's use this water to fill an Olympic-sized swimming pool that requires 2,500 tons of water. So by calculation, every second Antarctica is losing roughly triple this mass in terms of ice, meaning three Olympic-sized swimming pool every counting second. Which means that in 48 hours, Antarctica loses a gigaton or a billion tons of ice. and this is reported with the data of the year 1992 to 2017 fast forward to today the west antarctic ice sheet continues to capture our attention its current behavior is of great concern to the scientists studying the climate change antarctica's vast ice masses seem far away yet they store enough water to raise global sea levels by several meters A team of experts from European Research Institute has now provided the first systematic stability inspection of the ice sheet's current state. Their diagnosis: while they found no indication of irreversible self-reinforcing retreat of the ice sheet in West Antarctica yet, global warming to date could already be enough to trigger the slow but certain loss of ice over the next hundreds to thousands of years. With more and more ice being lost in Antarctica over the past years, concerns have been raised whether a tipping point has already been crossed where there will be an irreversible long-term collapse of the West Antarctic ice sheets. However, a number of glaciers in Antarctica are retreating at the moment, and we have found no such indication of irreversible self-reinforcing retreat yet, which is reassuring for now. But our calculations have also clearly indicated that on an onset of an irreversible retreat of the ice sheets in West Antarctica is possible if the current state of climate is sustained. So well, the main driver of ice loss in West Antarctica is the relatively warm ocean temperature that amplifies the melting underneath the ice shelves which are the floating extensions of the ground ice sheets. So melting of these ice shelves can enhance the ice loss as it speeds up the grounded section of the ice sheet. That is why the Antarctic margin with its ground lines, the zone where the ground and the floating ice are connected, is a key indicator for the ice sheet health. Moving ahead, let us look at the evolution of over 10,000 years figure today. Irreversible ice loss and sea level rise. Using state of the art ice shield models, Researchers not only conducted a thorough inspection of the signs of irreversible retreat of marine sectors of the Antarctic ice sheets at present, they also ran simultations to investigate how the ice sheet would evolve around the next 10,000 years if the current conditions remain unchanged. These hypothetical experiments indicate that even with no additional warming beyond what we already experience today, an irreversible collapse of some marine regions of West Antarctica ice sheets is possible. because the ice reacts to the changes in the temperature very slowly the author found that the collapse occurs in simultaneous at the earliest in 300 to 500 years from now under the current climate conditions a full collapse can take place from centuries to millennia which isn't really that far ahead the antarctic ice is our ultimate heritage of the past millions of years old and often coined the term eternal ice But our work shows while current ice loss may still be reversible a destabilization of marine sectors of the ice sheet could initiate a long term ice loss that is slow but certain climate change today could already be enough to tip the scales that is concerning yet 
with West Antarctica not destabilized yet, there is still a chance to mitigate at least some of this risk by ambitious climate action. So how did this happen? Well, various factors played a role, change in ocean currents, wind patterns, interactions with other ice sheets and human activities are the root of this phenomenon. Specifically, since the Industrial Revolution, carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gas emissions have raised the temperatures even higher in the poles and as a result, glaciers are rapidly melting, carving off into the sea and retreating on land contributing to the dancing cycle of retreat and re-advancement. It can be a bummer sometimes studying ice loss in Antarctica, although re-advance identified in geologic cycles happen over thousands of years. I like to think of studying the process of reversibility as a little shred of hope. It's crucial for us to understand the past and present of West Antarctic Ice Sheet. By studying its history, we can make more accurate predictions about its future behavior. So as we stand in awe mesmerizing beauty of the West Antarctic Ice Sheet, let's appreciate that it's more than just frozen water. It's a window into the Earth's past and a key player in shaping the planet's future. So that's about it from my side. For more discoveries like this, stay tuned with my channel for regular weekly uploads. And last but not least, stay curious.